Hey, sorry about that, guys. Uh, this is still Bell Geode. I'm keeping my stream running because I want to do a landing, um, but since I was in the main channel where we all hang out when we're doing our live streams, uh, you were actually hearing um, Airline to Sim doing his. If you would like, you can definitely uh, leave from here and head over to Airline to Sim's page. Um, I don't know if there's any mods left in my channel or if they've all gone over there, but if you go to the main flight-angels.com, you should be able to see the links to the various streams. And just look for airline to sim. That's airline number two sim. As for me, I'm gonna attempt this carrier landing here. So we've got a carrier directly ahead of us. There we go. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to see if I can land on this carrier because I am running out of gas. There we go. I told you there was a carrier. Oh, ye of little faith. Of course, I am set up in the wrong possible way for any kind of an approach, but we're going to see what we can do with this here. can't guarantee this will be perfect. I've only done this a couple of times in X-Plane. I've done it many, many times in FSX, but this is not FSX. Not to mention I have no idea what the wind conditions are currently since I did not get a METAR. Let's see where we are in relation to the carrier. Okay, there's the carrier. I'm going to go out a little bit and then I'm going to come back in. I might also want to come off the gas while I'm at it. In X-Plane, yes, you do have the option of spawning a carrier. Uh, you can tell it to spawn carriers uh, near your location, and if you happen to be close to an ocean, and it has to be either an ocean or a sea, yeah, it'll spawn a carrier as well as maybe a couple of destroyers. All right, I'm thinking I should probably do a carrier break first before coming into land. We'll see how it looks like. Honestly, I think I prefer this better than uh, coming into New York City. Okay, let me zoom in real quick here. There's our carrier. We are not quite lined up yet. Alright, we need speed brakes. actually at flap speed, so we can probably go for it now. Drop the gear while we're at it. I'm gonna warn you folks, this one might be rough. This one might just be rough. And I've only got one shot at this because right now I have 1915 pounds in gas. That's it. Probably not enough for a go around, and there is no tanker nearby, and I am way too high. Let's see if we can drop some altitude here. But yeah, there we go. It's a little bit of a surprise ending there. It's not what I originally intended, but uh, we'll see if it works. Video output is low. Oh, if your stream is buffering, I do apologize for that. I'll be down momentarily. Hopefully YouTube will catch up. Okay, ILS 108.10, heading 172, and I'm high. Of course I'm high. Of course I'm high. Not surprised. Make sure the gear is out. Yep, gear is out. Flaps are down. You can probably see the meatball off to the left, and yes, it is telling me I am too high. Way too high. I'm going to try it anyway here. We're starting to lose a bit of airspeed. Actually, we're starting to lose a lot of airspeed. Okay, that's no bueno.
Hook is down, gear is down, flaps are down, we're going for broke. She's telling me to wave off, I'm telling her I'm coming in. I am coming in. Voila. And that, my friends, is called a carrier trap. So for those of you who stayed around for this little extra special ending there, there you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And as I said before, this has been Belgeo. This is my last uh, stream for the day. Now, I will probably join Frugal and everyone else with a finale that may be done in DCS World. That'll be coming up around 6 o'clock Eastern Time today. So definitely stick around and check everyone else out. I thank you so much for supporting us. I thank you so much for watching me. And from the bottom of my heart, you guys are the real angels. All right, I am out. And that was a three-wire trap, by the way. So thank you once again. And I will see you all really soon. Ciao.